guys, it's Lily, and I'm really excited about today's video. Um, this is a review of my new Lime Life A5 inserts. So, I was waiting for these to arrive for literally a month. I ordered them on July 5th, um, and they weren't dispatched until the end of July, and they arrived on August 5th. So all of that time that I was waiting for them, I really thought that I might not survive. Um, and I was so excited when they came, and I was not disappointed. They were totally worth the wait. They're amazing. So I've already put them into my A5 planner and started using them. And I'll just um, show you what they look like. So when you get the inserts, they come with this, which is, um, it says Lime Life Planners. And... Um, Thank you for your purchase, and then there's a, a code, um, $5 off your next purchase of $30 or more. So if we just put that to the side, I've um, put them inside my Filofax, which normally has a lot more stuff in it, but I've taken it, the, the rest of um, the stuff out, like the stickers, just so that I can show you the, the full year's worth of inserts, because they're quite thick, due to the amazing paper quality. So it starts off with this. You've probably seen this if you've seen any other Lime Life reviews. Don't let yesterday use up too much of today. And it has this really nice pattern, um, which is called, I believe mine is called the Annie. So on the Lime Life website, um, there are a lot of different choices. First of all, you can get um, a coil band planner, like the Erin Condren, um, which I think is what they started off with. And that never interested me. But then when I found out that they'd started doing um, punched A5 inserts, I was really interested because uh, I like the idea. I've been looking for quite a while since I started using ring planners for like nice, good quality, beautiful paper, um, just, you know, kind of really nice looking inserts because um, I never really liked the Filofax or the Paper Chase inserts very much. Um, so I thought I'd give these a try and they're amazing. I love them so much. Um, so you can get all kinds of different patterns, um, both for the coil band and for the um, insert varieties. Um, and this was the one that I liked the best, but there are a lot of really nice options. Then it's got a list of holidays. These are American holidays, um, but I kept them in because it, it lists the, um, the major Jewish holidays. Not all of them, um, but it lists some of them, so I, I kept them in for that, and also it's it's pretty. So it's got 2015, 2016. But yeah, keep in mind, if, if you're not um, a US user, this the, the holidays aren't really as relevant, but that's fine. Um, then it's got a 2015 calendar, and it has this really nice little detail at the top. It says 2015 here in numbers, and then here it's written out 2015. Let's see if you can see that if I get closer and it has this nice rainbow theme it's just I think it's really really beautiful really well done the paper quality like I said is, is incredible it's 120 GSM um, which if you compare it to Filofax cotton cream inserts those are 90 GSM the normal Filofax inserts are 70 so it's it's really it's it's smooth um, a little bit glossy quite white um, just really nice like thick um, paper and so you've got this whole like kind of rainbow colored theme, which I love. I really like rainbows. Um, so that appealed to me. Um, and you've got all of 2015 on one page. And you, you even have the details here on the days of the week. So the days of the week, the color matches um, the color of the month. So it's, it's really pretty. Then you have 2016, the whole year and 2017, which I think is really nice, and you don't see that on a lot of planners. Then it has this quote, Dare to Live the Life that You've Dreamed for Yourself by Ralph Waldo Emerson, which is nice. Um, and then it's got a few pages, which I've actually um, taken out. I'm not using these in my planner. I just put them back in so that I could show you in the video. Um, not because there's anything wrong with them, just because I, I don't need them. This is my um, like kind of family planner, and I just... I, I wouldn't use them. Um, but this first one is about goals. So it says, be better, embrace change, make goals. Um, and then it has um, a little um, bit of text here. Everyone sets goals, but if you actually do it in ways that are supported by the science of goal setting effectiveness. What do decades of research tell us? 
The first goal should be specific, which allows you to measure your progress along the way. Um, and then it's got kind of some more discussion about goal tracking. And then you've got the rest of the page, which is just lined. Um, and then it has another page here that just says the same thing at the top, be better, embrace change, make goals. And it's got a blank page there. And then it's got it per month. So this is supposed to be um, for special dates, birthdays, anniversaries, monthly goals, events, anything you'd like to see on a monthly list view. So um, this this isn't necessarily restricted to goals. This is just anything that you, you'd want to kind of like a perpetual calendar. Um, and again, I, I don't need this because um, I don't keep track of things like birthdays in this planner. But it's nice. You could, yeah, you could use it for any kind of uh, sort of month at a glance kind of like running thing that, that you'd um, want to have here. And it's divided into two halves. Um, so you could write like kind of one set of things here and one set here. You could write the event here and then the date here, something like that. It's, it's, it's very nicely laid out. It's, the whole thing is beautifully done. I think I'm really, really impressed with the quality of this. Um, so even if I, you know, like I'm saying I, I wouldn't use these, it's not because I don't like them. It's just because I, um, I don't kind of, I, I don't have use for them, but I'm keeping them in case that I do think there's something to do with them because they're really nice. Um, and again, the color of the month changes. So like this is kind of pink or red. Um, this is yellowish. This is green, light blue, dark blue, darker blue, um, purple. So they, they kind of go with this subtle rainbow theme, which I really like. Um, so you've got that for the, for the year, the calendar year. Um, and then you've got contacts, which again, um, it's kind of gradated in color. Um, it's, it's sort of hard to see here in the light. If I bring it a bit closer, you can see it better, I think, um, how the, the color changes as you go along. Um, and you've got four pages, so two sheets worth of contacts. Um, and it's got spaces for birthdays here as well. Um, then you've got um, two sides, um, so one sheet for logins and passwords, which is which is a really nice touch. Again, I, I don't use that for this planner, um, but it's I, I think it's a good addition, and not a lot of planners have this. Um, and again, it's like it's just really nicely done. I like the font; um, it's it's very pretty. Then this is where the fun really begins. Um, we have the first monthly tab. And one of the cool things about Lime Life is that you can pick your own start month. So I ordered this at the beginning of July and I knew that it was going to take a few weeks. Um, so I requested an August start date and whichever start date you request, you get a full calendar year. So mine starts in August and it runs until July, 2016. Um, so that's really nice because it's, you know, it kind of, avoids the problem of having either having to wait until the beginning of the new year for your planner um, or having to get rid of a lot of blank pages if you get it in the middle of the year. Um, so you just you start whenever you want um, and that's really nice but it's dated which I love because I, I just I've tried the undated calendars and that just doesn't work for me at all so um, it's yeah it's it kind of like a nice compromise I guess. Um, so every month starts with a tab, and the tabs are really thick, good quality cardstock. Um, they're not laminated, but they're they're very sturdy. Um, nice colors. Again, the colors change throughout the year, as I'll show you. Um, and they've got laminated tabs with um, with white writing, and the it's they're in caps and very nice font. It it somehow it looks nicer in real life than it does um, on the video. Because um, I saw some videos of the coiled lime lifes and I was like, eh, I don't know. I didn't think that they looked that impressive. Um, and really when I when I ordered this, it was because I, I liked the layout of, um, of the inserts. And when I read about the paper quality, I thought, okay, it's worth trying. But I wasn't expecting to like the tabs as much as I do. I just thought I would remove them. But I actually like them, so I've kept them in. Um, and on the other side, it's blank. It's just white. Which is which is fine with me. Um, it's it's just kind of, I guess it's an extra nice detail that you've got tabs so you can go right to the month. Um, and I find it very helpful to 
sort of see where one month ends and the next begins, but I, I'm not using these for anything else, so I, I don't really care that it's, um, that it's blank on the other side. Then you have a page um, of lined paper for notes, and it's got the same pattern. So whichever pattern you choose, that will be the pattern that appears on the front, like I showed you on here. And also um, at the top of, um, of each page of notes. So you get an, uh, a notes page at the beginning of the month. And then you've got the monthly spreads. So I've just started decorating this one. Um, and the monthly spreads, um, I'll show you a, a blank one just to make it easier to see what it looks like. Um, so let me bring this up a bit closer. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So you have the month in uppercase and then the year and it's a Sunday start so you get Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday going all the way until Saturday and you've got the same design here so you see whichever design you pick and there are, I don't know maybe uh, like six or eight different designs that you can pick from um, it will be at the top of the right hand side of the monthly spread the month on two pages um, so I really like this month on two pages it's very clean um, very sleek. You just have these nice, like, kind of clean boxes. The numbers um, of the days are on the top right hand side, quite unobtrusive, but very clear. Um, and then you've got some space for notes here. It doesn't say anything, it doesn't say notes, which I really like. It's, it's just very clean and, and plain, um, but it's lined, so you can write to do like monthly to do's or whatever on here. Um, I'm just using these at the moment to like kind of mark off major events and it, it didn't come until the middle of the month so I just put stickers here in the boxes um, and then I've just marked off this is um, a summer course that I'm teaching and James is is taking the course as a student so I've just marked that off for the whole of this week um, and then I've left the rest of them I'll put in I think I'll put in like you know something major is happening that day um, and otherwise I'll just put a sticker on it um, because I, I don't use this for like kind of really intensive planning, um, but I'll do a setup video of it later where I show you exactly how I'm using it. Um, so then you get another blank page or lined page with the pattern at the top, and then you get another page which says notes again in its colorful, um, its uh, uppercase, um, and each letter is a different color, which I, I really like. Um, I think that the color schemes are are beautiful and this is lined again and then you go into your weekly spread um, so this one as you can see this is the first week that I got it so I just yeah decorated this um, <laughs> this was amazing um, I'll show you a blank week so you can see what it looks like so again there are a few different options that you could choose from and I think that this is one of the coolest things about Lime Life is that you can really customize it in I mean you can't customize it completely, but you can um, you can choose from a variety of layouts, so you're bound to find one that suits you. Um, so they've got a horizontal layout, um, which has got lines, kind of like the Erin Condren horizontal layout, except I think it's divided, so it's got space here, and then it's got like a separate to-do um, column over here. Then you've got a variety of, um, of vertical layouts. And um, so there's one that's kind of like the Erin Condren where you each day is divided into three boxes, but they're not labeled. So it's, it's, um, it's you know, it kind of gives you the freedom to decide what you want to do with them, um, like the new Erin Condren, I guess. Um, then you've got um, one where um, it's um, like kind of divided into like it's got lines and I think maybe times and then it has a to-do list on the left and then you have this one which was my favorite it really depends what you want it for so for me um, because I use this as a like kind of home and family planner I, I realized that when I was using the file effects inserts that I didn't actually use the times because I put everything on stickers and so I, it's kind of it's hard to put the stickers exactly in the times that the file effects has so I ended up writing times for for appointments and time sensitive things on the stickers and just you know kind of ignoring the times or covering them up with washi tape so I didn't need times um, but what I did think would be having different categories because basically the kinds of things that I put in here are things like um, 
stuff to, like where I'm going to be, where James is going to be, um, what's happening with Tails and Panda, the dogs, um, deliveries, things that we have to order, and, um, you know, like other kind of like household stuff, like which night is recycling night and um, that kind of stuff. If we're both going somewhere, like if we're going to see a film or something like that. Um, and this is perfect for that because it gives you six categories and I've never seen another planner that has this layout and it's amazing. I've, so I've been using it. This is the second week I'm using it and it's awesome. I love it. I can't recommend it highly enough. So um, if you have either like, let's say, um, different members of your family and you want to know what each of them is doing, or if you have um, classes, if you're a teacher or a student, um, basically anything where it's useful for you for your sort of planner to be broken into categories, this is the one for you because you get six different categories. So it's vertical. So like this is Monday. Um, oh, by the way, in, in quite a few of the layouts, you can pick either a Monday start, start or a Sunday start. This one with the six categories, it only has a Monday start, which is fine with me. Um, but um, for I think all of the other ones, you can pick either Monday or Sunday. So that's just an extra level of, of flexibility that you've got. Um, it's kind of funny because the monthly calendar has a Sunday start. Um, so I haven't had that with another planner. I, I've heard of it. I know that there are some other ones that do it like that. But OK, that's fine. That doesn't bother me. Um, anyway, so you you put like kind of the label of each category in here and then you can follow them along for the whole week. So in my case, this is Tails and Panda. So anything to do with Tails and Panda will go in this row. Um, anything to do with James will go in this row. Anything to do with me will go in this row, etc. Um, and I think this is just a really, really fabulous way of organizing it because it just at a glance, you know where you're looking at on the page. So if I want to see what James is doing for the week, I just look in this column, uh, in this row. Um, and so you've got your days Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And another thing that I love about this is that each day has its own column, including Saturday and Sunday. And that was something that annoyed me about File of Facts is that you only get half a day each for Saturday and Sunday. And I don't understand how they've managed it because it's actually somehow you seem to have as much room as I did in the File of Facts inserts, but you've got a whole extra column. Um, and then you also have this column over here. So I, I think that somehow the way that it's done is is um, it's really efficient. The, the use of space is really good. Um, and another thing, in case you're wondering, is you can see that with the inserts, um, there's extra space here so that um, where it's punched, that doesn't go into the boxes. The boxes start here and you've got this extra space where the where the holes are. So you're not missing out any space um because of the um the, the hole punches um so yeah i just think this layout is awesome and i love it it's the best one i couldn't imagine going back to anything else now after having been using this for a while um and for decorating it's really nice as well because you you've got this kind of nice clear delineated space you can either like put washi tape here um or here um, or just on the sides and I, and I think they're so beautiful that you don't actually have to do a lot of decorating of course I, I am just because I I like it um, but this is also nice because I've just been putting a sticker in each box and so it ends up looking really nice and colorful but it's also very organized and easy to find things um, so it just goes on like that um, and it's it's kind of it's an open layout so the lines don't go all the way till the bottom. You have some open space here. Let's, let's see if I can show this. I think you can see it on the side. You see how they don't go right till the edge, they end. So, so each box is completely uniform. Each box is, is the same size um, and you just have some open space at, at the edges. And, and I just think it's a really, really nice layout. I think it's really nicely done. Um, and then you get an extra note page at the end of the month and then you get your next tab. So um, September is a kind of like petrol color. And then again, you get the note pages, the monthly spread, um, which matches the color of the tab. It's petrol, um, the notes pages, and um, then the weekly pages are in the same color. Oh, and um, I forgot to mention, so at the top, 
um, it says this week in September, and this week is like kind of written in a sort of cursive font, um, and then September is, is in the same caps font. Um, and each of the categories for the um, for your weekly spread is, is in a different color as well. Um, so that's September, then we have um, October, which is like a kind of darker blue, like a navy, um, and you see the colors here match that, um, as do the weekly um, spreads. November is purple. Um, December is a darker purple. And you, it, I don't, I'm not sure how well it's coming up on here, but you can see the same thing. January is pink. Um, February is like a kind of magenta. March is orange. So you really get a lot of different colors, but they're they're quite understated. So I just feel like the whole thing is it's very like kind of smooth and um and clean. Um, April is a darker orange. May is yellow. I just really like having all these different colors. I think it's such a beautiful layout. June is a kind of lime green. And July is a sort of light teal turquoise. And then at the end, you get another section. Um, this is like a kind of sort of random red and white polka dot sort of um, thing here. And it says notes on the tab. Um, and you get this gigantic chunk of notes pages. Um, and each page, front and back, has got the design that you, that you pick. Um, so you've got your choice of design. And um, this is another really nice feature because, again, the same awesome paper quality. And you get, like, I think it's 50 pages of notes, which is just, like, a huge amount of notes. Like, look how much this is. Um, it's just tons of note paper, and it's just lined. Um, and that's it. Um, I think if you get the coiled planners, there are also various add-ons that you can get, like a social media add-on or a finance add-on. Um, I didn't see that option when I ordered the inserts. It could have just been that I missed it, but I, I wasn't looking for another add-on. I, I didn't need any other add-ons, but I couldn't see an option for that. Um, all it gave was the options for like the different layouts um, and the starting month. So if you see, I've taken everything else out of the planner just so I could show you what it, what it looks like with this. I mean, you see how thick this is? This is a year. Um, so it's quite thick. So I'm only keeping six months in here. Um, because I've got a whole bunch of stickers and other stuff. Um, but if you did want to keep the whole year in here and you didn't have a lot of other stuff in your planner, it would be totally fine. Um, you, you can see it's not like, it's not rammed. It's, you know, it's really like comfortable. And in, um, in an A5 Filofax, it fits really well. It doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't go kind of too far um, up to the rings or anything. Um, but the, yeah, the paper quality is just it's really like thick and luxurious and amazing, and I love it. Um, so that is um, the story of my A5 Lime Life inserts. I really, really highly recommend them. They're fantastic. Um, I think they cost, I think it's $45 for the inserts. So it worked out at like £25. So, I mean, I guess it is kind of expensive. Um, but it's totally worth it. It's just such good quality. I'm so impressed with them. They're, like, they're beautiful, um, really, really good attention to detail, very well thought out. Um, I, I think it's, it's really worth um, checking them out. Anyway, so those are um, my inserts, and I'm definitely going to be using these. Um, I'm so happy with them. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I will be back soon with another video, um, and I will see you then. Bye.